Michel Goyal, Director of Products for Dados IO today. How's it going? Doing great. How are you doing, Curtis? I am good. Flew up this morning just to, <laughs> just to talk to you. Absolutely. So uh, we've had a few conversations about traditional backup architecture mm -hmm. and your product's architecture, which I'm going to say is very non-traditional. Absolutely. Why did you think that we needed a different backup architecture? What, what about the traditional backup architecture did you think needed change? Yeah, no, absolutely, that's exactly correct. Well, we believe that it's the applications that drive the entire data protection and data management stack underneath. Now, the applications, as we know, are changing. Mm -hmm. They are born in cloud, they are moving to cloud, and also they're becoming more distributed in nature. And with that, this traditional data protection architecture mm -hmm. that used to consist of applications running on a relational database, getting backed up by a media server, and finally getting stored in a dedupe appliance, does have some deficiencies. Mm -hmm. And let me go one by one in each sure. of these. So the first one really is, is scale. Now as we look at the applications, as the volume of data is growing, you can clearly see that media server really becomes a choke point. Right. We all know about the problems with you know, backup windows extending into you know, overnight. So that really becomes a bottleneck in, in terms of this, handling the scale of the data. And I'd say that traditionally the way we handled that was it, it worked fine as long as, um, as, as, as this scaled over here, I just bought more media servers. And of course, these were really expensive boxes. Correct. Right. But, the, but what happened, the one thing was what happened when this became this, when I have a single application or server that can't fit through a media server. That was the one thing that these guys weren't really designed to handle. Absolutely, and right. that's absolutely the truth. So media server, scale, they don't go hand in hand. Right, right. Uh, the second issue here is this architecture, if you look at it, is designed for a very static infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So there's no elasticity. Right. And by, what, by that, what I mean really is, if you look at cloud and cloud infrastructures, mm -hmm. they're meant to scale and then made to scale down, scale right. out and scale back in. But this requires a static footprint for infrastructure. And right. that really is a problem because we are moving to cloud, applications are moving to cloud, data protection has not evolved with that. Yeah, because back in the day, growing this was just as painful as growing this, right? Absolutely. You had, you had to wheel servers in, right? Yes. <laughs> On either side. And so it took a lot of effort to grow this, so we had time to grow that. But today, we push a button and this goes, Absolutely. Think about a customer who experiences high workload on Thanksgiving. Right. I mean, they want to really not design for that workload, but just scale out and scale back in after Thanksgiving is done. Right. Right. There are. I, I think there's tons of of uh, and you know media and entertainment, for example, that have a giant uh, scale just before a movie or whatever. Right. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. There's all kinds of apps that do that. Absolutely. And and the third part that I want to list here is is deduplication. Now, in, in the traditional architecture, this deduplication was block level deduplication and was really designed for the applications, traditional applications that were written you know, right, right. decades ago. Right. And that is not enough for the scale out architectures and the way the applications are written, the way the applications are running in multiple clouds. What we really need is a fundamental rethinking on how we dedupe. Right, yeah, I, I think uh, you, and, you and I talked earlier and, you know, and I talked about how, how awesome dedupe was but yet, I, I still feel that dedupe was a band-aid on this system, right? Yeah. We wanted to back up to something, yes. right? The backing up the tape wasn't working. We wanted to go to disk. Disk was too expensive. Dedupe solved that problem. Yeah. But we didn't, with a few exceptions, we didn't go back and fundamentally redesign this side to yes. take advantage of that. Absolutely. That's right? absolutely right. I, I can think of some, some environments where this won't work really well. You've mentioned a couple mm -hmm. of them. You talked about cloud, yes. right? Yeah. And then there's also these these giant scalable databases, yep. right? Things like Cassandra and, and Mongo, these mm -hmm. things that have, I don't know, dozens and hundreds of yep. nodes, yes. right? Um, and um, and then the other is is these the original backup applications also weren't really designed for virtualization. Absolutely. Right? Now we have a whole new class of apps that are designed for virtualization, but they're not necessarily designed for the other stuff that's still there. Yes, right? absolutely. And they're not necessarily designed for the cloud. Absolutely. I mean, that right. is where the thing is. I mean, cloud, you don't have LUNs, you don't have VMs. What do you back up? You have to be application-centric. 
Now, one example is customers are running in multiple cloud environments and they want to move data around from one cloud to another cloud. Mm -hmm. They want to refresh the test and dev clusters. Mm -hmm. All that requires deep knowledge of the application. Right. Application centricity is the key going forward for these applications. So you say today, whoops, how's my work, my thing here? This is what it's about today? Right? Absolutely, it's all about applications. It's all about how the data protection and data management ties into the applications. Yeah, nobody nobody gives a flying hoot about the <laughs> Linux kernel, right? Uh, absolutely, it's they, all about they applications. Care about the now. data, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, how is your product any different than? than yeah, this? sure. So we had to fundamentally rethink about the architecture, mm -hmm. and what we came up with is because of the applications, we came up with this fundamentally different architecture that we call Coder. Mm -hmm. Coder stands for Consistent Orchestrated Distributed Recovery. And there are key elements uh, of Coder that really ties very well with the applications and the next generation applications run in, running in cloud. Mm -hmm. So let me just walk you through some of those elements here. Right. And the first one that, uh, that I'll go with is no media server. All right. The design here, as we just talked about, becomes a choke point. No media server allows us to scale beyond you know, one database, a database that maybe 20 nodes, 50 nodes, may have 10 terabyte of data, 100 terabyte of data. Right. Without media server, we remove that choke point. So that's one of the fundamental uh, tenets of the Coder architecture. The second uh, key, key tenet here is really elasticity. So going back to our discussion about elasticity in cloud, right. cloud really provides us elasticity. I can scale up, I can scale down, right. I can scale out, scale back in. Mm -hmm. Now Coder really Dynamically allows... Dynamically based on needs of today and... Absolutely. Right. So think about it as going in a direction of serverless. Mm -hmm. I just want to run my backup when I really want to run it. And mm -hmm. I want to get exactly the performance that I need at that time. Okay. Why do I need static infrastructure? That's what Coder allows us to do as okay. an architecture. And the third one here is really uh, rethinking about deduplication. Mm -hmm. Rethinking about deduplication and something that we call global semantic deduplication. And the reason behind that is we are looking at, as we are looking at new next generation applications, they are more distributed in nature. Block-based deduplication, probably not the right, uh, mm -hmm. right, right algorithm there. Right. Uh, so that's where we define this industry first deduplication architecture that we call global semantic deduplication that not only deduplicates against the bytes, it also deduplicates against the logical copies of the data. So basically, it, it seems like you've got an entire infrastructure that basically was designed to run in the cloud if they want or on servers on site if they want. Absolutely. But, but definitely designed to run in the new world of the cloud. Yes, exactly. All right. Basically, we talked about you know, all of the things that the design of this just wasn't meant for the cloud yep. and wasn't meant for the application-centric world that we live in. Absolutely. And you guys have, have addressed that with you know, the three elements of your, of yep. your coder. And yep. by the way, I just want to say the, my favorite thing about this is that it's not called CODB. It's not called you, recovery. Is recovery. It the, is it the name of your product and Absolutely. not backup? I like That's that. what customers care about, applications and recovery in the cloud at scale. Great. Thanks for talking. Thank you.